it is Saturday and it is slow Saturday. Yeah, I'm actually, I made it on a Saturday this weekend. Imagine that. So today my bestie and her husband are coming from Hartbeesburg and we are going to have a nice braai and they're going to sleep over. So it's going to be a late night tonight. So, um, and then tomorrow we're going to have brunch and whatever. So I figured I better do this video before they come. So this weekend, it's a slow Saturday video. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, I have a plain Jane v-neck. Hey! So I've got one after uh, the first one that you see in the pattern files that went to my youngest daughter. Um, and I made this one for myself. And um, I'm busy with the plain Jane crew neck. And I'm still stuck on the Kamala Batak because these stripes are just... <laughs> I love it. Okay, so this is the plain Jane crew neck. She still needs sleeves. Oh, look at the stripes. I love the stripes. You know, I had a discussion with my testers this week regarding the stripes. Back in the 80s and the 90s, there was a, a yarn in South Africa. I can't remember the name of the yarn house. But the brand or the name of the yarn was Mexican Wave. And it was uh, not entirely, it wasn't tweed. It was, it had a base color, but mixed in with the base, there was another color that changed. So you had these random stripes as well. And I have vivid memories of my mom sitting and then cutting the yarn and then pulling out the yarn from the ball until she got to the color she wanted and then she would start again and it's another little piece because she was obsessed that the stripes had to be equal in width. Um, I can remember the color that I had was a yellow-orange color and it had greens in with it and I refused to do what she did. I just took the yarn and I knitted with it and I left the yarn to do whatever it liked. And there was, um, I can remember the front of the, I was knitting um, bottom up. So when I got to the neck, I split and I did the one part. And then when I joined here to do the second half of the front, you could see that the colors were not completely tied up. And every time that I wore that jersey, my mom would make a nasty remark about it. And that put me off stripes for years. I mean, we're talking late teenage and I'm now early 50s. 40 years. I avoided stripes completely because of that. And... Um, with the stripey chick I did, I did random colors of stripes. And some were thin and some were thick. And, but still, in my mind, there was a bit of order going on. With this, there is no order. Well, I suppose you can say there is order, but the stripes differ. The yarn do what it wants. You can see here there's little green. There's a lot of green. Um, this side of the pink is thinner than that side of the pink. Here, the pinks differ totally. So this would have driven my mom insane. She will not knit with this. She won't. So we discussed in the tester group, if you have to change yarn, do you match it up or and we just decided, no, we're just going to leave the yarn to do what it wants. And you can clearly see that happening um, there. This bit of orange is a lot more than all the other places. But I love it. The same thing happened with this one. There's a broad pink stripe here in the middle, just underneath the split between the sleeves and the body. And I absolutely love it. What are you doing? My dog dug up something from the garbage can you know okay so this is the plain jane crew neck and the pattern will be released somewhere towards the end of december i think i'm not sure i'll see um we haven't finished testing yet 
some of the testers are still busy. The sleeves is a no-brainer. I made this a bit bigger than this because I'm going to do three-quarter sleeves, so I might want to wear it over a t-shirt or something. So this one I made with a little bit more positive ease than this one. Great. So what's next? Well, I don't know. What would you like to see in the Plain Jane series? We've got this Plain Jane v-neck now. We've got the Plain Jane crew neck that's coming out soon. What else would you like to see? The Plain Jane for me is there's no intricate stitch patterns. It's about the design of the garment and essentially your yarn, the color of the yarn must be the yarrow in this project. So I still got three shades of Kamala Batik. This one it's the pink and light gray one with a bit of maroon. This one is my daughter-in-law picked this one. We are driving down to Cape Town the day after Christmas to spend two weeks with them in Cape Town. Can't wait to see my little grandson. And um, I'm going to knit this for her while I'm there. She also wants a crew neck with long sleeves. So this is going down to Cape Town. So I have two left that I want to use. And you cannot use these kind of yarns with intricate stitch patterns. There will be an absolute fight between the color and the stitch pattern and neither of them will look good. It, it will just result in something looking shitty. So I need to come up with two more plain Jane designs but I'm stuck. So help me out here. Okay so as you know um, I went out of the corporate world at the end of 2013 and then I started John and a bond. Uh, I closed John and a bond down in the beginning of 2018 and I went into designing full time and eventually I said to my husband this is just not working so I'm going to go back to corporate and I went back to corporate in September this year after nine years at home. So being out of the market and out of what's happening in the world of technology for that long is Quite a problem and um, I was an Apple girl I had a iMac and I had a iPad and I had a phone and suddenly I was employed by a place who is full Microsoft so I sold my Mac and my iPad um, everything my iPhone was due to be replaced anyway um, I had replaced that with another phone before the time already and I bought myself a, <clears throat> um, an Asus computer and I went down the rabbit hole of Microsoft. And I'm very proud to say that I passed my first Microsoft certification exam yesterday after September, October, November, three months. And although it's only a fundamentals one, I am still extremely proud for doing that and getting a great score and now I'm on to the next one. The next one is going to take me a couple of months and um, I'm looking forward to next year. I'm looking forward to getting another Microsoft certification next year. I'm looking forward to um, growing in Microsoft and um, my husband and I had a chat about it last night. You know, we, we've been brought up that in your 50s you should start to wind down and you should retire when you're 60 or 65 and you old and you know what a lot of hogwash um i don't know much about all the other religions but in the christian bible i don't read about retirement anyway so who's to say we're too old to start doing new things so here's my challenge to you before the new year starts what are they that you've always been wanting to do, but now you're sitting there and you think, I'm too old to do this? Come on. Shall we make 2023 a year of new things, regardless of age? Because I'm certainly going to do it. I'm going full out for this Microsoft Power Platform thing. I'm designing on it at the moment. Um, I haven't developed in many years many years, 30 years, maybe more. So if I can do it at 53, what excuse do you have to sit and say I'm too old? Um, I've never made 
um, New Year's resolutions. It's never been a thing for me. But this year I'm going to. I've decided that next year I'm going to join the Centurion Walk for Life branch and I'm going to get fit again because I'm not fit at the moment. Um, from 2020, from that big operation that I had where they removed that huge 8.5 kilogram cyst out of my abdomen, I've never really regained my strength nor my fitness and I decided this is bullshit. If I can get a Microsoft certification, I can also get my fitness back, my strength back and not feel old. So, what have you been putting off because you're too old? Maybe it's time we should all make some New Year's resolutions. Which patterns have you put off because, oh, it's too difficult, I don't think I would be able to do it. Oh, come on. There's an old saying that says, whether you say you can and whether you say you can't, both times you would be right. So make a change and decide to say, I can, instead of, I can't. That's my challenge to you. I'll see you in two weeks time. Have a great Saturday. May it be an absolute blast of a weekend. And um, think about it and let me know in the comments what you think. Is there anything that you're going to do that you thought you shouldn't do, you're too old to do, you can't do? Come on, come on, come on. Big girl panties all the way, okay? See you in two weeks.